afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Got another small Class C we're going to review today. Just came in. This is a 2011 Coachman Freelander 21QB. Smallest Freelander they built in 11. It's only 23 feet, 11 inches long, including the bumpers at its longest point. Uh, 51,000 miles built on a Chevrolet 3500 chassis. Got the six liter Vortec V8, 323 horsepower, which is perfect size motor for this, for this size RV. And this is just a neat little no slide unit. Just somebody who's wanting a basic class C with pretty much no frills, but I mean, hey, get you out there and get you RVing and got everything you need, nothing you don't. Got a 4KW generator running right now with 50 hours on it. Powering everything inside. You've got a, uh, does have a power awning. So I'm not gonna say no frills. It's still got, you know, all, everything you really need. 5,000 pound tow capacity hitch on the back. You know, it's uh, in good shape for, for an 11 model motor home. You got a couple of stripes with some few little cracks in it. Mostly on the burgundy like most of these Freelanders do. Motorhome runs and drives great. No check engine lights. Dash air is ice cold. Tires look great. Now the tires are a little bit of aggressive. A um, little bit of aggressive tread on it. But I mean they still ride okay. They just maybe not as smooth as like a highway tread tire. But you know if you ever get somewhere uh, off the road a little bit or you know uh, a little dirt, a little dirt road or something, you'll like that extra traction. Windshield looks good. And little Chevrolet, guys. You know, I'm not a big fan of the Chevrolet chassis and the bigger Class Cs, but in this size, it's perfect. Um, I honestly, between Ford and a Chevrolet and a small motorhome like this, I actually prefer the Chevrolet. And they ride better, too. Does have the super light composite sidewalls, which is Asdale. Little outside entertainment center radio. Um, storage, big storage bay in the back. Let's look inside, because it is hot out here. And a couple of things that previous owners have done to this RV, is they removed the either sofa, let me get this door shut here. Ah, door's a little funky, but it's fine. You got to pull up on the handle while you shut it. A little hard to do one-handed. But they did remove the original sofa that would have came here and they put in theater seatings. And then they put a pretty cool little table, removable table right here. It looks hand carved. So I actually like that a lot. Um, somebody did a little work on that. Of course you do have an overhead bunk, TV on a swivel mount, TV works got a dvd player uh dvd playing so obviously that works full size bed in the cab over and the cab over looks great thing's got an ice cold uh roof air and ice cold dash air a little dirty but it does have a fantastic vent fan this one just came in no carpet look here in the front cab uh you do have a rubber mat seats look great um now well, you can see that that works and that works, so I can go ahead and crank it back up. Um, this is one of those with the safety built in where you can't run the TV when the motor's running, so when I crank it up, it's going to cut power to the plug to that television. 51,000. Hang on, automatic lights on. Da 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 da. 51,215 miles. No check engine lights, no warning lights. Like I said, dash air is ice cold. You do have the fold-up screen. Uh, it works, the backup camera, stereo, power windows, power locks, manual mirrors. Plastics look good, nothing's cracked, nothing's broken, map pocket and all that's still good. Good old dash compass. That's a GPS that'll never get you lost. Um, theater seating looks just about brand new. 
you got the remote caddy and this is actually pretty comfortable because of this single pedestal table you can twist it over a little bit get in these are recliners lay back a lot more comfortable than a sofa i mean i don't this is what most people would do anyway yeah you lose a little bit of sleeping but you kind of do and you kind of don't because i don't know about you but between the choice of the small sleeper sofa that would have been here or the small table booth that would have been here i'm going to sleep a lot more comfortable with what's in it now in this recliner if i had to sleep on it um like i said it's very very comfortable especially if you're a bigger person i mean this is about as comfortable seat as you're going to get in an rv with it with theater seating i really really like them um really you know for a while i didn't but honestly i would rather have this and then the sleep your sofa let me know what you think and you can still sleep four in here because you've got a queen size bed in the back you got a full size bed up top and like i said you can sleep one or two people here if they just wanted to i mean if you're used to sleeping on a recliner this is going to be any different uh kitchen area which i know this is a small motor home so you're not going to have a huge gourmet kitchen but you really don't need it don't have room for it anyway uh you do have a countertop extender you do have a single basin stainless sink three burner cooktop doesn't look like it's been cooked on let's see if this is a microwave or a microwave convection oven i'm gonna say microwave and this is a microwave so you got a microwave stove top sink i've had the refrigerator on for a little while and the freezer is starting to get cold this is a six cubic foot two-way rv refrigerator freezer so it does run off electricity or propane if you're boondocking and of course refrigerators are just a few hours behind it so it works i can definitely tell you the roof air is ice cold queen bed in the back corner bed corner bath which is about all you're going to get in a floor plan like this without a slide now you can get a queen island bed and one this short if it's got a rear corner slide but then you can't use the bed when the slide out's in this one you've got the same floor plan whether the slide there's no slide out so the floor plan you see now is, is everything it's ever going to be there's no folding anything in or out do have some overhead storage um you've got a big closet right here which is actually pretty nice for a under 24 foot motorhome now it's a little bit of a tight squeeze getting into the bathroom because of this queen bed if they put a full size bed here obviously it would be a lot easier so of course guys keep in mind i'm 320 pounds and six foot four so i'm bigger than most of y'all so if you're just a normal size adult you're not going to have any problem getting in here and i can still get in here it's just uh i gotta hit it sideways and the bathroom i mean it's small but it's functional and you've got a separate shower of course you know this is the average size bathroom for this size motor home rv toilet sink i mean my motor home's uh maybe six inches longer than this and this is bigger than my bathroom of course i don't you know you don't spend a lot of time in the bathroom anyway i'd rather have the more living space in a smaller bathroom because i spend more time out here than in the bathroom and guys like i say it's a pretty basic little motor home no slides no jacks nothing real complicated very low hours on the generator low out uh, low miles on the motor home you know you really don't use a generator much in a motor home like this because this unit is so small the dash air is going to keep everybody pretty cool unless it's like 97 degrees like it is today then you definitely want to run the generator and the roof air when you're driving down the road if you got passengers if it's just you uh you know the dash air is going to keep the cab nice and comfortable and it'll keep it'll keep it cool back here it'll surprise you what it can do back here and you do have a fantastic vent fan in the cab over very good place to put one 
and um, you know I know it's not a hundred percent factory condition with the theater seating and that extra table but I actually like this setup better it's more practical to me I mean yeah you lose a bed but you gain so much more comfortable seating so you know I mean if you're needing to sleep six people yeah that might be a problem but if you just need to sleep four then you're going to prefer that over a sleeper sofa and then you still got your table you can use for eating for uh for a work area desk area or whatever guys i like it of course i'm on a small rv kick anyway uh ever since i went from a 38 to a 25 footer i'll tell you guys i best thing i ever did and, and i know not everybody agrees with me on that i know people say it's too small it's small because mine doesn't have slide outs either and i like it that way i mean nothing wrong with a slide out but the kind of rving we do is more boondock day trip quick overnight trip so it's just nice having a motor home you can park pretty much anywhere compared to that 38 footer i had that you had to plan ahead months ahead in advance to get a site i'm more I guess we're more spontaneous the older we get, so we, we're not, we're not, uh, we don't like to plan like we used to, so. And uh, it's funny how you change as you get, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 44, and, you know, 10 years ago, I would have had my whole route planned, where I was going to stop for fuel, where I was going to stay at, had reservations, all that stuff now i just you know guys last time we used a motorhome we just jumped in it and went where our hearts told us to go no plans and uh, of course we ended up like always up in the mountains but still uh, i think we winded up in uh, toward cherokee north carolina and um found a spot got a you know i like it but you know that's what's nice about it you can be spontaneous of course you know everybody's different a lot of people are planners some are not people change but anyway um this unit's 39.9 we do guarantee at that low price that the generator runs and puts out like it's supposed to the motor home runs and drives correctly we guarantee the roof air to get ice cold we guarantee which it is we guarantee the refrigerator and freezer to get the operating temp which it is uh, and we guarantee the water systems to work. We check, make sure there's no leaks, water leaks in the water system. We check the water heater and water pump. Anything and everything else is sold as is. Um, you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I went ahead, like I said, I tried the TV, DVD player. You're good there. I'll leave the DVD in there for you. Some kind of nature film. Um, microwave lights up. You know, what I recommend everybody, what they should do is one of two things or both. When you buy from us or really buy from anywhere, this is really just common sense. But guys, come out and take a look at this RV. Uh, spend some time in it. Get to know it a little bit. I'll have it uh, cranked. You know, you can come out here, crank it up, crank a generator up, or we'll plug it into shore power the night before or something so the refrigerator can get cold. And spend some time with it get to know it a little bit if you come monday through friday you can test drive it um we don't we only do we don't do test drives on saturdays we're closed on sundays and just you know check everything for yourself see what works and what doesn't before deciding to buy it or not buy it because beyond the refrigerator the roof air the water systems everything else is so and the running and driving and the which there's no snap on it everything else is sold as is if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't it's up because we can't fix anything beyond those key systems in other words we make sure the stuff that costs you the most money works if it and if it doesn't work we fix it anything else is up to you to fix or not fix we leave the mickey mouse stuff to the next owner to fix if there's anything at all so far the only thing i've seen is the light in the refrigerators burn out but uh, then again, I haven't checked it probably as thoroughly as you would if you were buying it. So definitely come out and check it out. If you can't do it or don't want to do it, um, hire a third-party inspector, guys. That's the best thing to do. You know what you're getting into before you get into it and how far you want to take it. 
You know, any RV you buy, don't let anybody lie to you and tell you different. Any RV you buy, new or used, you're going to work on. That's the nature of owning one. And if you think you can buy a motorhome and never turn a wrench or a screwdriver or fix this or fix that, you're, you're mistaken, guys. If you can't do it yourself, you're going to have to pay somebody to do it. That, that's just a nice, like owning a houseboat. Same thing. I mean, you're always going to have little stuff to fix on an RV, even one as small and simple as this. I mean, that's just, that's part of owning one. So I highly recommend coming out and looking at it yourself, guys. And, uh, and, and just a quick thing about my videos. I never started doing these videos with the intention of this being your only reason to buy it, if this makes sense. I want you to come look at it, guys. I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want you to come here and inspect and proofread everything I say for yourself. Uh, I never in meant for these videos to replace coming out to a dealership and checking it out yourself and test driving it and before deciding to buy it or not. I never intend for that. And I know most people still do that, but there are a few people that do that, guys. And I try to tell the truth in the video. I point out the good, the bad, and the ugly, but I, even with that, I never intend to replace your own eyes looking at it, your own hands touching it, and driving it, and all that. I never meant to replace that, guys. So uh, definitely, I want you to come out and take a look at it. If you can't do it, you know, if you do insist on buying it side and see, please hire a third-party inspection service, guys. That protects you. It protects us because. Beyond the things that we inspect, which I mentioned earlier, refrigerator, roof air, plumbing systems, running and driving, I don't know what's good and what's not. Um, that's why I want you to be a judge of it or hire a professional, a third party uh, unbiased inspector to uh, do it, to also check it, guys. And I'm just being 100% honest with you. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter to us if you come look at it, inspect it yourself, or hire somebody to inspect it or not. That You don't have to do either one of those. But I do recommend doing at least one or both. And again, guys, I'm, my videos are not here to replace coming and looking in person. Never was, never will be. Even though I appreciate the ones that do buy sight unseen, don't get me wrong, I really appreciate it. Um, but I want you to be sure beyond a shadow of a doubt so anyway thank y'all for watching you know that's another reason why i don't of course i don't have time to do because i've got other duties here too but that's another reason why i don't like put slide out rooms in and pull out awnings and all that stuff i still want to leave some things for you to come in and do yourself so you get a feel for it it's not that i don't want to do it it's just well i don't have time to do all that but that's another reason I got to leave some stuff for you to come here and do. Because, <laughs> again, I, I, I want to encourage you to visit us in person. And, you know, I, people come from all the United States every week here, every single week, to look at RVs and buy RVs from us. So distance, obviously, isn't an issue for the kind of money we save you. And plus the fact that our prices are plus applicable sales tax. And, of course, if you're a Georgia resident, there's a $100 highway impact fee, a $40 to $50 tag and title fee, and that's it. There's no dock fees, prep fees, none of these potentially thousands of dollars in, in after sales fees that a lot of dealers charge you. And remember guys, the more, the bigger the dealership, the corporate dealers and stuff, the higher the your higher your out the door price is. Our price is haggle free firm, doesn't matter how you pay for it, finance, trade, uh, cash, or a combination of the three, it's $39.9 plus applicable sales tax. No fees. I mean, there is a $1.50 delivery fee a mile if you want it delivered, that's just one way. So we don't charge for the return trip. So in other words, you don't pay for the return drive, and that's us paying my driver's pay, paying fuel, which is pretty expensive right now, and uh, hotel room if they didn't get my driver back home too. With all that stuff, is included for that dollar fifty a mile one way and uh you know most dealers charge four to five dollars a mile both ways 
to do what we do for a dollar fifty a mile one way or if you want to figure it both ways 75 cents a mile round trip if that makes it easier for you to to understand oh boy it's hot out there i almost hate to uh leave this thing because it's it's a 13,500 BTU air in this small space. It, 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 it cools off quick. Especially now that I got the motor running with the dash air on too. Yeah, it, it feels great in here. Um, but anyway, guys, come out and visit with us. You know, we're family owned and operated. We're mom and pop independent dealer. Been in business since 1968. Not a corporate dealer. We don't have multiple locations. I mean, you know, we don't get rich on every RV we sell. Like my grandpa used to say, we make our dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters. Other dealers, because their inventory is so limited, especially used, they want to maximize profit on every single used RV they sell because they're so hard to get. Here, guys, we have a minimum markup, which you can tell that from our prices. But, and that's because everything we own is paid for. We don't have mortgages. We don't have floor plans. We've been in business over half a century. We operate off our own money. We don't borrow money from the bank to buy inventory like other dealers do, which is called floor planning. And that can cost, and that can add hundreds if not thousands of dollars in overall cost to the unit that they're selling the customer, which means they have to go up on the price that much to cover the, in so in other words, you're paying the dealer's interest charges on a floor plan because they don't have the cash to buy their own inventory. So you're paying more for the unit to cover the interest cost. We don't do that here, guys. Titles in the house to everything we sell. Free and clear. And uh, that gives us great purchasing power, too. So we're able to buy units that other dealers can't because, you know, they can only buy if they can floor plan, which pretty much limits them to do RVs and then auctions. And that's it. We can buy from anybody, anywhere. We've got the money in the bank. No problem. You know, uh... I mean, we'll go out and spend a million dollars if we can get the right deal. I wish we, we used to do that back when inventory was readily available. It's not now, but we still do pretty good, I think. Uh, we got about 100, 100, 120 units in stock right now. I haven't counted in a while. Anyway, if you've got one for sale, give us a call, guys. We'll pay cash for it. We'll pick it up if we can come up with a number that we'll, we can both live with and, um, and even come pick it up even if it's a couple thousand miles away we're not scared to travel we're used to it but anyway guys 706-965-7929 is a phone number call before coming to look to make sure this one's this particular one's available um you're gonna like it guys you're gonna like the way that six liter v8 drives in this chevrolet chassis in a in this small of a motor home I don't think I'd want it in a 30 foot with multiple slides, but for a 24 footer with no slide, it's small enough, lightweight enough, it, it, it it's going to run and drive more like a van than a motorhome. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Smash me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comment, share on social media. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, RBs with Big Bo. And uh, thanks again for look, watching, and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.